Uh, this goes back to 1969, I guess. Um, I was in the Army. I was military police. I did most of my work as a photographer for the battalion. But uh, on odd days when they uh, didn't have any pictures for me, I pulled regular MP duty. And on this day, I, this was in Presidio, San Francisco. And Letterman General Hospital there was the main hospital for people coming back from Vietnam. And so it was, it was really packed and was, had a lot of things going on at the time. They sent me over there, but not to do the normal patrol. I was sent down to the basement, which was the prison portion of the, uh, of the hospital. And there was nothing new and modern and clean about that. It was, it was down there. There were locked rooms, heavy iron doors. And I come down there, and there was a guy who pulled this duty regularly. And I said, I'm here to do whatever it is we do down here. And he said, well, let me show you what's, what's going on. I said, we've only got one prisoner. And he opens the door and says, hey, you know, I want, want you to meet this guy. He's going to be working with me this shift. You know, we walked out. The fellow we, we met was one of the uh, uh, Presidio mutineers. And I'll let you look that up. I'm not going to go into detail on that. But it was a bunch of people who were in the stockade who didn't like the way they were being treated, and they had good reason for that. And they sat down in a circle and sang, we shall overcome. So they were charged with mutiny. And this guy in the, in the room had been sentenced to 16 years. And they had other people's 14 years, 18, 21 years, huge sentences. They were later overturned, but at this time, he, he had a 16-year sentence. And we walked down the hall, and uh, my, my partner here showed me uh, the window about like this, where someone had broken it and actually crawled through to escape which uh, was, was kind of a freakish thing. Uh, I didn't know anyone could squeeze through a space that small. And so we we're kind of getting used to the, 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 the dingy place we were in. And this young woman appears down at the other end of the corridor and says she is there. And the, my guy, my partner, recognized her and said, oh, yeah, here, sign in. This is the wife of the fellow we've got locked up. And she's allowed to see him for 30 minutes. I said, okay, so we walked her down, put her in the room. Now, this was a, a large room with all kinds of bunks in there, but he was the only one in there. So we let her in, and uh, he closed the door and said, take the time you need. And then we went out in the hallway, and uh, so I looked at my watch, and he said, don't bother with that. There's nobody here. We're going to leave them in there for a couple hours. <laughs> and we did, you know, they, they, they stayed in there. And whatever they did, I hope they, uh, you know, got got full use out of the facilities. Um, <laughs> and that was, that was my day in the, in, in the uh, military police dungeons there. 